Well, hello there and welcome to the EV Revolution Show. This is a special edition, just a quick show, where I'm going to talk about a very new announcement, exciting announcement that's coming out today in the United States. It's part of the President uh, Joe Biden's um, EV charging infrastructure, part of the infrastructure, the bipartisan infrastructure law that came out, um, that was signed uh, into law earlier. And it's an announcement of a $5 billion EV charging national network that's going to be built out. This is in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Energy and Department of Transportation. Now, I was on a call uh, yesterday on the about this uh, that I couldn't talk about until this time. Now, couldn't release the information, and you'll see a lot of that information today on on websites and nationally posted. But I wanted to just give you a quick summary of what this means. So, this is a a fund of five billion dollars initially for all the states in the U.S. to look at uh, building a, a spinal. Uh, type of network, national network that will be the backbone for future expansion. And this is only for EV charging stations. So this is not for hydrogen or natural gas or any other alternative fuels. It's 100% for EV chargers. And of course, uh, President Biden's goal of 500,000 chargers by 2030, this is the first start towards that goal. There's about 100,000 or so already in existence in the U.S. from both uh, private and some public ventures. So this is going to continue to increase that, but be a national government uh, sp a sponsored program and paid grid. And this is going to be primarily along initially the highway interstate corridors and roadways linking a, a again, to that get that backbone spine of entity. Um, so these corridors will uh, provide that EV charging network. Uh, the joint office of these two departments will play a key role in the implementation of this, uh, what they're calling the NEVI formula program. Uh, they'll provide technical assistance and guidance to the states, and they'll, 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 states will have to put plans together based on this guidance. There'll be detailed technical requirements coming out in about three months to follow the guidance. But the, I've read the document. It's about a 40-page document as well, and it's it's fairly, uh, fairly uh, detailed as far as what it provides from some guidance. And if I drill into that a little bit for you folks, some of the things that I was able to pick out, the EV charging stations, they want to have at least a minimum of four CCS chargers per station. It can be more than four, but the minimum is four with a total station power requirement of 600 kilowatts uh, with the ability for each uh, stall, each plug to have at least a minimum 150 kilowatts up to three. 350 kilowatts but the minimum is 150 so that's the the base spec and of course the states who are going to be in control of planning this out can can take that uh, minimum spec and build upon that. So, i.e., if a state wants to build maybe a larger type of hub or a grid, uh, something like GridServe in the UK environment, where they'll have multiple, much more chargers to be and much more power, they can do that. This is just the minimum spec of, that the uh, uh, that the feds have outlined. Now, I asked about billing, and this will have a unified payment platform associated with that because obviously that's one of the concerns with consumers that that are looking to charge and there's so many different providers and a lot of them have their own systems. They're not all interconnected and they're not all the same. So this will have a unified uh, payment initiative and that's the goal for this uh, system as well. Now, as far as the distance for these stalls, uh, the minimum is going to be, or the, the plan is going to outline about 50 miles gaps between these. So obviously there's a bit of wiggle room on that, depending on the power requirements, the power availability in a certain area. But the idea of the plan is to interconnect the entire country, both urban and rural areas, to provide EV charging accessibility to everyone that needs it. So this is the first leg of that ultimate plan, you know, that rollout that's going to take many years. Uh, but the this initial initial five-year plan is pretty aggressive when you look at it, and it's something that I think is pretty rare that we've seen from a national um, uh, perspective uh, and a program that's being funded by a national program to really push out alternative fuels, specifically in this case, EVs and zero emission vehicles. So I think that this is, this is groundbreaking and truly revolutionary to help spur on the EV adoption marketplace. You know, as I've said in previous uh, episodes, this is the year of the EV. I, I really believe that with the amount of EVs coming and the amount, you know, the uptake that we're seeing 
And this type of program will just help to continue to spur that growth because now you'll start getting consumer confidence to say, well, you know, I shouldn't really be worried about charging infrastructure in the next while because it's going to be built out. And this is an aggressive five-year plan with funds somewhere in excess of $600 million to start this year alone to start going out to states to start the program. They want shovels in the ground and there may be existing environments that can be uplifted as well. So it doesn't necessarily need to be all new construction and new builds. So a very accelerated program to get this number of EV charging stations going as a national part of the U.S.'s national grid. Now, also some of this funding, is 40% that's going to be allocated to the benefits of disadvantaged communities. That 40% comes in the second wave. There's a five initial five billion, then there's a seven and a half, uh, sorry, a two and a half billion dollar fund afterwards, and 40% of that will be to these uh, areas for it could be for more community-based charging and maybe some level twos and pro other programs as well to help um, uh, to help grow EV adoption in those areas. Um, Again, this is a spinal type of initial push to build out that spine consisting of 134 parts of 134 interstates, 125 highways and roads. It's encompassing about 165,000 miles of roadway and it's ready to support, um, you know, chargers um, to, as again, to provide that spine for the network i'm just looking through my notes here uh, there's a lot of information that they provided so what i've just wanted to do today is just give you a quick summary and what it actually means and what, what when the rubber hits the road on this um, very very stoked about this announcement i would encourage you to check out um, some of the websites driveelectric.gov in the u.s and of course you can check out the doe department of energy and dot department of transportation sites there'll be lots of press about this as this announcement comes out and lots of things that you can look at um, i've provided some images and some things during this uh, show here but there's going to be a whole lot more information provided so Hey, that's it. I just wanted to get this out. I think this is pretty important. I got very stoked on this call yesterday. Um, was honored to be uh, invited as a journalist to attend this call with a lot of other, you know, national publications and uh, and media outlets. Um, that this is a pretty groundbreaking and pivotal. Uh, almost a tipping point again another addition to that tipping point in the EV industry and you should be stoked as well especially if you live in the U.S. so thanks very much for tuning in if you're watching on YouTube I encourage you to, to um, uh, click that subscribe button please if you can if you're follow, if you uh, are helping me out on Patreon always humbled and thank you for that please uh, if you're interested you can see the link below everybody continue to stay safe stay excited about this man I can't even speak it's so much stuff going on and until the next a regular show i will see you when i see you take care and bye-bye